properly with Sam, Kobe, Hartman, Kensler, and we're joined by the one and only Liquid from Curse. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. We're excited to have you here. So I gotta ask you, Curse, Saint Vicious on support. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> Why? So we've been doing okay, right? We're like middle of the pack, forever fourth, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully, we want to change that. I'm not comfortable with these middle of the pack results. I want to be the top team in North America, and I felt like if we put another two weeks in analyst sessions and mentoring and coaching and trying to improve the team with the current set of players that we had, we, we weren't going to just like suddenly jump into first place. I felt like we needed something that was really going to impact the play style for the, for the guys as quick as possible so that we made the change early on during the season rather than the later part of the season. So for me, the most important thing was shot calling. Like, if you okay. change a shot caller in a game, you can get people to move towards objectives more quickly. You can uh, go for, you know, towers or go in and invade red, go in and control their blue, and you're forcing the whole team to go and follow that call. So that's something that Saint did really well. So he's, he's in there as a shot calling role. He's there to get, get everyone going in the right direction. Absolutely. I mean, from, from my standpoint, you know, the, the mechanics from Zekin to, to Saint, they're both good players, right? They, they understand the game, they play well, but Saint definitely has more of a authoritative kind of commanding mm -hmm. voice in yep. game. And I think that that's going to actually lead us to, to more victories. Did the um, extra fan base that Saint brings to the team have any effect of him uh, going back to the starting lineup, or is that just an added bonus here for Curse? Just an added bonus. I okay. mean, for me, it's 100% about results. I want to win. <laughs> I want to okay. win, and I want to I wanna go to Worlds. Like, that's, that's the goal. Nothing else is, everything else is secondary. So obviously you're happy with the first one that they got uh, making this change. That always sort of backs up the decision that you made Absol to make it in the first place. But really... How was the team's reaction after the win yesterday? Oh, you know, it's, it's, it reinforces that behavior that, oh, well, everything that we just did is now going to keep leading to more victories. So uh, I, they were really happy about it, and, um, and so was I. Even uh, Zekint? I just have to throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, the conversation with Zekin was um, he, he, he's a really smart kid. He's very tactful. He's a mature guy. And he wants to win, too. He cares about this team just mm -hmm. as much as everybody else on the team. So when things are explained that we get more benefit from a shot calling standpoint by having Saint try things out and see if they work, you know, nothing is really official yet. I'm just kind of seeing how things go. And um, he, he's totally cool with that. You know, and I think uh, there's lots of opportunities within Curse and what we're doing from a management or coach standpoint to have him help out with that stuff. So we're kind of seeing what roles fit best. Okay, so just one more follow-up on Zekint. How, what type of coach is he actually going to be? Because you're also a sort of coach slash manager. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have a hands-off approach and uh, let Zekint sort of run the show there as a new coach? Or are you going to be in there right with him? So we're still figuring those things out. I mean, one of the things about Curse is that we have so many resources. We probably have more resources than most of the teams that are in LCS. What does that really mean? It means that we have a manager, we have a coach, we have a few analysts, we have all the proper equipment from our sponsors. We, I mean, we, we have everything that has the recipe to win, right? <laughs> yeah. So um, I got to figure out where those pieces fit to, to result in success. And you know, if that means that Zekin is going to uh, spend more time coaching, then we might do that. But we're just going to get a feel for it. I mean, this is, this is relatively new for everybody, so we just got to see what fits. All right, well, it seems like you guys are doing uh, pretty well so far. We'll see you guys again today. But actually, I want to switch gears and talk to you about our Twitter question of the day. Today, we're going to ask everyone else, uh, what has surprised you the most in the North American LCS this season uh, and why? And Steve, I actually want to ask you the same question. What's, what surprised you so far about this NALCS season? You know, for me, there's just a, uh, I think the caliber of the teams and the seriousness of the play has just went up a level from last season. Mm -hmm. I think uh, these guys know that there's a bunch of challenger players that are ready to take their spot <laughs> if, if needed. And um, <laughs> LMQ. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the, the stakes are higher than they yeah. were last season. So I think that that, 
that uh, creates a little bit of fervor with all the teams and, and gets some excitement going, I think that's really the biggest, the biggest change from last season. Cool. Well, thank you very much. And of course, congratulations on your win yesterday. We'll see, you. You. Uh, we'll see you again throughout here. But now it's time uh, for